Hey everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about color management. Color management is a very difficult topic to talk about, but I'm here going to tell you the easy steps to making color management easy for your shop. Stay tuned and watch this video. Hey boys and girls out there, how you doing? Peter Karunas here with Shopbox and in this video we're going to be talking about color matching. Now, color matching is a very, very, very tricky topic. But in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my way of making color matching just a little bit easier for you to handle in a couple of quick and easy steps. All right, so. Before we can get into the quick and easy steps of how to set up your system to color match, let's kind of go over what color matching is, what the difficulty is. So first and foremost, you have your computer screen, your computer colors, right, which are which, you know, if you're using a, a decent monitor, they're in, you know, RGB or super RGB color profiles, right? The color on the screen never quite matches what the customer gets on their screen or how it prints out on your LaserJet printer, but more importantly, how it prints out on your wide format printer, right? That's the problem we're trying to fix. We're trying to fix that problem. And there is a couple of ways around it. There are more tedious ways around it, but I'm gonna show you a quick way here in this video. What are some of the other issues? Well, the other issues are the media that you're printing on, right? The banner material, the mesh banner materials, your vinyls, your vehicle wrap vinyls. All of these particular types of media have different pigments built inside each and every particular piece of media. So what that means is that when you print it out on a banner mesh material, let's say a 13 ounce mesh banner material on a matte finish, it's going to appear, the color, the same color swatch, the same color code in your computer is going to look differently than it would on an Avery or 3M product. So what can we do to combat this? So the very first step that you're going to do is you're going to want to look into what particular type of color chart is available for your printer, right? So if you have an Epson machine, if you have a Roll-In machine, if you have a Mamaki machine, all of these particular machines that come along with their corresponding RIP software has a built-in color chart for that particular machine. So this is your key here, because if it has a color chart in your machine, it also probably will have a color profile that you can install in your graphic design program, whether it be Illustrator, Photoshop, or some of you out there using Corel Draw. Once you have that color profile installed onto your machine and inside your software, now you can actually use it in correspondence with the color charts codes, right? For example, your typical CMYK color may be different than the color code of your color chart. So now your color chart has a specific color code, which is going to match the color profile built inside your design software. Now, we can go through the gamut. You can print out the entire color spectrum color chart, right? You'll have all the available colors there for your customers to choose from. But you would have to absolutely, and this is a very important step to this process, once you have your color profiles built into your system, ready for you to design with, you would have to print out a color profile chart on every particular mo printing mode. So if you print on high speed, if you print on low quality, or if you print on standard, okay? You're gonna wanna print out three color charts to show the difference in print quality for every type of material that you're going to be printing in your sign shop. So you're going to have color charts for your banner materials. You're gonna have color charts for your calendar and your cast vinyls. And if you're some of the shops out there that are still printing on paper, you can actually print your color charts on the paper as well. All of those particular parts of media are going to appear differently based off of the pigments that they use inside that material. So, when you have a corresponding color chart that you can show your customer, Mr. or Mrs. Customer, this is our banner color chart. Mr. or Mrs. Customer, this is the difference between high speed at a certain square footage rate, and this is the difference between high quality at this square footage rate. Let's say that you're one of those shops that really just want to have your basic colors out there. So, once you have that particular color profile, installed onto your design software, you can select and design your own color chart with your most commonly used colors, right? Your reds, your greens, your blues, your yellows, your blacks, your shades of grays, your golds, all of those particular colors, the ones that you're going to use more often. Now, 
You could rename those colors if you'd like. So you can say that this is Sign Shop Red. This is Sign Shop Blue. This is my favorite color, Iguana Green. And then you can correspondingly design your own color chart that you would probably use for your shop. Now, it's not gonna have a hundred different colors. It's gonna have a couple, maybe a dozen colors, which would limit the selection of your customers, effectively making the common knowledge in your shop a little bit easier to understand. So if they're gonna print on banner, they're gonna print on high speed with sign shop red. Okay, instead of it being a burgundy or a maroon color, shades of different, you're gonna have only one item for your shop to actually recognize instead of the different types of color options that are going to be in your standard run-of-the-mill color chart that comes preloaded with your RIP software. All right, so basically let's sum that up. So the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to locate the color chart file embedded in your RIP software, whether that's a Flexi software, whether that's Onyx software, you're going to have a color chart that's already embedded in your RIP software. Then you're going to want to find that color profile or download that color profile and install it into your design software, right? So now we have a color chart and we have your color profiles and they're interconnected. You're gonna be designing with the colors right here. This is your color chart and you're gonna be designing with those same colors inside of your design software. The only thing left that you need to do is print out as many of the color charts as you possibly can for all of your media profiles because your media profiles are going to print differently from various different medias at di various different speeds. So if you are going to upsell your customer and you wanna print out the color chart for your banners or for your cast vinyls or for your calendared vinyls, you can show the customer right then and there, this is the difference in price because of the different print quality that we offer. So there you have it guys. That is the easiest way that I know how to set up your shop for color matching when you can connect your color profiles and you can print out a bunch of color charts with the various different media profiles and different print speeds associated with them. If you guys should have any questions about color matching, please leave a comment below. I'll be sure to answer them. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget, hit that bell. Subscribe to our channel here and you'll get notified when the next video is ready to be viewed. I'm Peter Karunas with Shopbox and remember, stay positive out there.